Okay, in this video I'm going to be looking at a question which involves calculating in the empirical formula of a of a given of a given molecule given the uh, the percentage the 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 the, the percentage um composition by mass of the of the molecule and in this particular question I'm only given the percentage composition by mass of one of the of one of the elements present in that molecule and so I have to find out the percentage composition of the other one so let's look at this question an oxide of nitrogen contains 26 percent by mass of nitrogen calculate its empirical formula um, now in this question it asks me to calculate the empirical formula of something where where I've only been given one of the masses, so 26% by mass of nitrogen. So this is going to be 26%. But it doesn't tell me the percentage of this in the question. But, but by looking at the introduction of this question, I see that it says an oxide of nitrogen. And that, that implicitly suggests, this implies that the two elements present in this molecule are nitrogen an oxide since this is an oxide of nitrogen nitrogen oxide and therefore their formula is probably going to be something like n maybe nx and o ox so this is a basic formula of an oxide of nitrogen and this x might be one this x might be i don't know yet so let's see um since we don't actually have the percentage composition by mass of the oxygen yet I'm gonna figure that out and this is a percentage composition so what I can assume is that the the whole molecule is going to be a hundred percent and therefore if we take away the percentage which the nitrogen contributes what's going to be left is the percentage that the oxygen contributes so 100 minus 26 percent is going to give me 74 so 74% is what's left and that's what the oxygen contributes. So now I have the percentage con percentage um, composition by mass of oxygen of the, the percentage that the oxygen contributes. Okay, so now I can use these two values and well, I don't need to use these values yet. What I'm going to do is lay this out. I'm going to put nitrogen here in a column and um, oxygen here in a column and this is going to be sort of like a like a table i guess uh first thing what do i know the, the i know the percentage is and so what i'm going to do to help me to solve this is i'm going to assume that since we've got 100 percent here to make it really simple for my problem solving i'm going to convert it to grams and assume that i've i've got a sample here of 100 grams so if i had 100 grams sample uh, a 100 gram sample since 26 percent by mass is going to be nitrogen the, the mass of nitrogen in that 100 gram sample is going to be 26 grams 26 grams and the mass by of oxygen is going to be 74 grams so this is going to be this is the mass so small m and now from this periodic table i can figure out the molar masses of these two elements so the molar masses of nitrogen it's going to be 14 I'll leave the point o out and this is going to be grams per mole and the uh, the molar mass of um, oxygen here yeah, 16 16 grams per mole this being a relative atomic mass I'm converting it into uh, molar mass by adding the grams per mole and now what we can do is, is figure out the number of moles so from the equation number of moles is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass i can figure out how many moles of each of these elements i have so what i'll do here is number of moles and and the way i can figure this out is by dividing the mass by the molar mass so 26 divided by 14 which equals which equals 
I'm going to give it to three significant figures here 1.86 and I'll do the same for oxygen uh, if I divide 74 by 16 what I get to three, signi to three significant figures is 74 divided by 16 4.63 4 4.63 and so what I can do now now that I've got the number of moles of both of these is is calculate a, a ratio and the way I'll, I, I will uh, I'll calculate this ratio is basically by simpl simplifying these two this so far is the ratio but they're not they're not very pretty to look at so what I'm gonna do now is divide both of these by the smallest number I've got here which is 1.86 so the the ratio let's let's start the the ratio process now um, the ratio of the mold is gonna be 1.86 divided by 1.86 which is obviously going to be 1 and the ratio of for this one is going to be 4.63 divided by again 1.86 and that's going to give me 4.63 divided by 1.86 that gives me 2.489 which is 2. 2.49 2.49 to um, three significant figures and so what I can do now is since this is still not a whole number it's, 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 it's closer but it's still it's still not both whole, whole numbers what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna multiply both of these values by 2 so this is going to be this is going to be converted to 2 and this is going to be converted to um, 4.98 and if i looking at this this is a whole number but this is this is not but it's really really close to 5 so what i'm going to do is just round this to 5 so the ratio now is 2 to 5 that's this being to one significant figure 2 to 5 and this being the nitrogen and this being the oxygen um, therefore my empirical formula equals N2O5 and I know this is the empirical formula because you can't really get much simpler than that N2O5 And that's basically how you figure out the empirical formula if you've got one of the masses. There you go.